In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys three different ways that can actually access Panzoid video editors. One of them is just accessing it through your web browser. The next one is adding it to your favorites. And the third one is actually adding it as an app. So with that said, let's get into it. First thing is, is actually how to find the program. What you have to do is you have to type in Panzoid. With that, you have the options right here. So you have Panzoid, you have the video editor option right underneath it which is really a quick and easy way of doing it. If you want to just click that and it'll literally just open it up in a new tab for instance. But you can also even just go back here and you can press the Panzoid option. Once you actually get onto the Panzoid site, you can actually get to the video editor option by literally just going up here and pressing on this button. And that'll actually also open it up for you guys. Here's the entire screen and you literally just come up right up to this little area. So you press on this star, you press add bookmark and now you can name it whatever you want. So for instance, we can name it Panzoid and then you can actually select a folder right here that you want to put it in. You can even press like more for instance and it can open it up right here and you can see your entire bookmark bar. So for instance, I just wanted the bookmark bar so I'll do that, press save. And now if you literally just go up here, you can see it's actually now just right there. So the last option is actually the coolest one. So if you go back to that, um, you can also go back up here and instead of pressing this star icon, right next to it you see this little desktop with a down arrow. Basically you can install Panzoid Video Editor. If you, when you click that, it's going to pop up this little window and you can press install. And now it's going to open it up in its own little tab thing and you can make that full screen for instance. You have um, other options like app info and stuff like that. But from what I can tell, this is basically adding it as its own like shortcut basically to your desktop. And it's actually very useful. But with that said, that is actually how you can do that. We also have a video over here that YouTube recommends for you and even a playlist of all of our Panzoid stuff. So if you guys want to actually start editing in it, we have a basic walkthrough and a lot more coming. So, and remember, keep on editing.